Good morning, Audacious Church. How are you doing this morning? My name is Jacqueline Naruoga. I'm a college student at Audacious College, or I like calling myself first year graduate. I am humbled this morning to be sharing devotional with you today. I just want, before I share the scripture that I'm going to be um, um, giving or uh, talking about or referring to this morning, I just want to pose a question to you. How many times, as believers of Christ, how many times do we keep on wanting Jesus to prove himself to us? We trust him. We have faith in him as the absolute provider. He is our pillar. We have every, 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 all the evidence. He's done so much in our lives. But we still, when we are faced with, with a situation, we still want him to prove himself. I'll just share a bit of my story. Just a tiny bit. When I started uh, Audacious College in October, sorry, it was September 2020. It was coming, it was towards the end of September. And the same month, September 30th, my contract in work was coming to an end. Yeah. So I started college not knowing if my contract was going to be renew, re renewed or if I was going to have another contract in the shortest time period. I started with a lot of excitement. I was excited to start and everything was going absolutely fantastic. And then towards, uh, towards come end of, of September, my manager said, Jacqueline, we're extending your contract for another month. Instead of being all oh, praise Jesus, being happy and giving thanks, gratitude and thanks, I was like, ah, why is it only a month? Because I was used to having the shortest contract I had had was three months. Normally it's three months, six months or even longer. So to me, I started having these feelings of anxiety. I was fearful, convincing myself that this was evidence or this was a sign that I made a wrong decision. I shouldn't have gone to college. That is how I had convinced myself. I went through the whole month of October worrying, worrying and worrying over and over again. But luckily, every single word that was shared during the session, the first few sessions we had was encouraging to me. And I, st I, I, st I stuck it out. I stayed. I didn't give up. Now, not only my contract was extended farther than October, as I am sharing this devotion with you this morning, I am still in the same job. My contract has been rolling and rolling and rolling over and over again. Isn't that fantastic? Can I just share my scripture? The scripture that I want to share with you today. It is Matthew 14. It's the story starts from verses 22 to 31. But what I want to share with you is mainly from 27 to 31. So just to give you a bit of context, this is after the event, the famous event in Matthew, in the gospel of Matthew, feeding the 5,000. When Jesus fed 5,000 men, only that were counted with five loaves of bread and two fish so at the end of all that the crowd was dismissed and jesus asked his friends to go ahead of him he wanted some long time and jesus's long time being the, G, the, the the lord savior was prayer so he wanted some time to pray and after he did that he wanted to join his friends. He decided to join his friends. So we pick up from, from, from uh, verses 25. This is Matthew 14, chapter 14, verse 25. And I'm reading from the Amplified Version. So it says, um, we see that Jesus joins his friends by walking, taking the fastest route. Of course, it's Jesus. He's going to take the route he wants. He didn't take on, he's not an ordinary man to take the fastest jo uh, boat on the shores and join his friends. No, he walks on water. 
and when his friends saw him because this was three the bible the amplified version gives us three to six a.m i think they, they called it the fourth watch so this was early in the morning when disciples saw him walking on water approaching them they were fearful they thought it was a ghost peter who we know very well one of his favorite friends i call him or the bible says say so asked him so jesus told them that it is we are, we are now on verse um, we are verse, we are focusing on verse 27 so jesus responds after they said it was a ghost jesus responds but immediately he spoke to them saying take courage it is i do not be afraid but peter wants to test him peter says listen to his response lord if it is really you command me to come to you on water jesus did he asked him to come now peter walks on water excited i'm thinking he's excited to sit to, to walk in on water just like the lord our savior is doing but then he looks up he takes his eyes off jesus and he looks up the storm and it was very fearsome i believe so he takes his eyes off his friend, the one who has asked him to come to him, the one who he knows very well, who he's just witnessed a few hours ago feeding 5,000 men with just a tiny bit of food that was there. He takes his eyes off him. So he's in doubt. He's fearful of the storm. And what happened next? We all know he sunk. He started sinking. And this happens to us, all of us. These guys were with Jesus all the time. They had seen so much that he had done. So much he had done at that point. But still Peter was in doubt. Was in doubt. He didn't look at Jesus. He didn't focus on Jesus. He looked away and was afraid. So in other words, he thinks the storm is bigger than Jesus. And that happens to us all the time. It happened to me when I was fearful. Oh, maybe I'm, I made the wrong decision. This is not what I need to do. No, 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 I shouldn't be here. I need to be in work. This is a sign. Because my contract for the first time had been extended for one month but the lord had directed me to do college i took my eyes off him and i focused on what was around me and for a full month i was worried so i want to encourage you church this is a beautiful story i've actually been focusing on this story during the tough times we've had for the last 18 months that you my eyes are only focused on you whatever is going on around me it may be worrying. It may be causing a lot of anxiety. But you shouldn't worry. I encourage you to take courage. Just like Jesus said, take courage. It is I. Do not be afraid. I hope that inspired someone today. I want to wish you a, 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 a fantastic day today. And whatever you're up today, may God bless you so much. Thank you.